Did they really think I was gonna go all the way over here to... get into a deal where they stole Pokemon from one of my friends, and I was just gonna be like, all right, I beat the people at the front door. Whatever. Master Mode. In the previous episode, we pretty much explored... I mean, that was more of the previous, previous episode, but we... No, we did explore pretty much Castellia City in the previous episode. It was just a bunch of battling, and our team is looking pretty nice right now, actually. I'm really happy. Um, going into this gym, which today may be a gym episode. I don't know. I know I got two free encounters that I would like to use... Up, and we do have another plume, uh, another fossil. We got a plume fossil. I don't know if we're gonna scoop up any more fossils today. Um, if we do, then maybe this won't be a gym episode, and this will be more like an encounters episode. And then the next episode is the gym. It, it's gonna really depend on what happens today. Also, depending on challenge and whatnot, because I really don't want to use my get out of jail today if we don't take on the gym. So that's kind of the situation I find myself in. But, there's only one way to find out what we're doing, and that is by spinning the wheel. No? I wanna- don't wanna spin? I don't know why I did that. Use only dual type Pokemon. You know what? I'll do it. Do it just for this episode. This is gonna be so difficult though, because we have luckily we have half a team that is dual typed with Braviary, uh, Graveler, and Stunky. But the problem is is that Stunky is level 20. Everything else is like 26 or higher. Um, I guess I could throw the experience here on Stuck Stunky, but I honestly don't know if I want to. I don't think it would be a smart choice. Then, you know what? This might actually be the perfect episode. This might actually be the perfect episode to try and get all my encounters in. Because then, if I really have to... No, we have Rock Smash. I was worried about this thing, but no, we got Rock Smash. So, I actually don't really need to. That is fine. Um, but yeah, maybe this is the perfect episode to try and get all my encounters in. So I can, uh... Go into the gym. Next episode, potentially... With a perk on the line or a get out of jail, which means I don't have to do a challenge. And, or if I get like a super easy challenge, like if I get like, for example, mom time, where I have to go all the way back and talk to my mom, it's not hard. It's annoying. I don't want to go all the way back to the town, but the nice thing is that we have a bike, so I have to just do it within the episode. It's super easy. Super duper easy. It's something I should do, to be honest. I missed. 
Come on, Uncle Sam. We need you to just kill this thing. Just get it out of here. Thank you. And I want to say the house by that hiker heals us. So I'm going to go ahead and check that. And make sure that is correct or not. I want to say it is. I want to say that it is correct. Yes! Let's go. That's perfect. That's perfect. So yeah, based on how quickly we run through these trainers, um, I'll kind of determine based on that um, if we decide to get our encounters for this episode. And even then, if we get into the gym and it's just like quite a few trainers, that's fine because the more we clear out of the gym, because I expect the battle, the gym battle, to be difficult. I expect that. So, any advantage I can give myself, I will. I guess the nice thing is if I'm leveling up someone like Uncle Sam here, then... No, Shield On's not good at all. I can magnitude this thing, I'll be fine. Um, but I have, if I have a mom like Uncle Sam that is leveled up pretty, pretty high, and I don't have a, like a level cap thing to worry about, that's actually really, really good for us because, like, nothing's holding us back. I go in, I have a super duper high level. Yeah, Uncle Sam won't be doing much the next couple of gyms, but it's a good mon to have for when we need it. And then the other mons can hopefully catch up on the way to the other gyms. Because, like, Elisa. We are in for a treat with her. Because I. I'm expecting so many hidden power ice, grass, waters, whatever, to hit my graveler. So it would not surprise me if I had to deal with any of that stuff. So. And again, maybe I shouldn't be thinking that far ahead of time, but but I kind of am. Trepinch. I kind of want to fish in this route to see if I get something higher than level 22. I feel like I won't. I feel like I won't. It's a decision. It is a pretty good decision. Did I reset the timer? I don't think I did. Because it says we're only at seven and a half minutes and there's 20 minutes left on the timer. It's a 30 minute timer, so I don't think I reset it. Whatever, we'll give ourselves a little bit of a mulligan for this episode. There's another fossil right there, so that's another free encounter. Listen, as long as I build up my PC box and have fire in there, I don't care. I don't care, because I'm okay rocking the team that I have now. As long as I have fire in the PC box. Like a Larvitar, that's gonna be sick. Um, what else? I mean... Larvitar, Slowpoke, those are both good mons. Um, I mean, looking at my team right now, if I didn't decide to put Kangaskhan on the team, Kangaskhan is... Proven that it's pretty useful right now. Been proven, proven pretty useful. Proven pretty good. Maractus, surprisingly, has been, been really good for us as well. I mean, yes, it's a grass type. Fighting things that are quad effective and whatnot, but it's came in more handy than I would imagine. And Maractus is actually one of those Pokemon that I've wanted to use 
in a like playthrough method because I don't think I've actually really used a Maracto in a playthrough before. I actually don't think I know I've used Kangaskhan, Braviary. I have no idea. Used Golem. I know I've used. I don't think I've used a Politoed. I don't think I've used a Politoed. So that's also something that's kind of new and nice in a way. I'm happy with that. I know I don't need these on right now, but because it's starting to get to that point, I don't want to grab those on. I think I should have spray or repel. Yeah, I probably should. Probably should just, just cause. So far I've been doing a good job of maintaining the mentality of, hey, you have only these two that you can use. Don't fuck up. Alright, I have two repels. That should be enough to get us to the end of this section here and then out. I wish those ladders were actually, like, accessible. Like, you could actually climb them. I wonder if you'll... If when Gen 5 remakes are out, they'll make that a possibility. Nice, nice. I mean, his name Worker Shelby. Is that what I just saw? I'm not gonna judge it. I just was curious. Is Shelby a unisex move? I don't know. I would have never guessed it was, if it is. We're doing really well on time right now. I'm, I don't think we're gonna fight the gym this episode. I hope not. I, I kind of hope not. Oh, I didn't say I'm gonna use my free encounters. Probably should say that before I actually go and do it. So I'm gonna run away from the sand shrew. It's not gonna count, but I am gonna use my free encounters here. I'm actually gonna Try to go down to the water. I want to see if we fish out anything higher level than 21. That was fast. Holy shit. Poor fish. Ooh, it's 23. That. Take that. I will take that. Um, I think Slash or Wing Attack is going to kill this thing. I'm going to Rock Smash it. Alright, dude. Come on. That's not good. Oh, the Sandstorm is up too, so I should do this one. Dude. That's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Um, I do have a Netball. I think we should go ahead and use that. I think we should go ahead and use that. I'm gonna catch the other Pokemon first before we uh, do the randomization for the encounters. So this is our second free encounter. And then we'll go back to the Nat Green Museum and uncover the fossils. Wait, did we get two? Yeah, we got two. 
So that means there's probably more scattered about. Something tells me Clamperl can take a wing attack. And even if it doesn't, I feel like I'm not losing anything because I still have two encounters I get. That's fine. Would have been nice to have four, but I'll take three. Three is better than nothing. Three is better than nothing. That's what I'm going to tell myself. Is three is better than nothing. But yeah, we're doing really, really well on time. I wonder... Nah, I wouldn't have made a difference if I was using everybody. I probably would have made it faster if I was using everybody. So I think in a way, this challenge probably is better for Loras because I think A, it'll make Braviary even more credible for us in this fight against Berg, because again, my brain is telling me that this is a double battle. My brain is telling me that this is a double battle, and I want to say that's correct. I want to say that's correct. Alright, we're gonna... Mosey our way back to Nacreen City. I'm so happy that I'm recording this again. I don't know why. Like, so this is the fifth? The fifth video? So that means I'll be doing six. Holy shit, I'll be doing six today. I'm gonna need to eat something after this session because I've been feeling hungry since like episode one that I've recorded. I was thinking, oh, it's not gonna take me that long. You'd be surprised. And that's kind of what I'm hoping. I guess Generations Master Mode, I'm hoping that's the case because, I mean, I'm just thinking right now with Generation 9 the way it is, I don't can't picture it where it would be not the case because I know when I did my yeah, um, you two because you're the last two in the party I'm gonna have you down in the second row so that way I don't get confused because I did two gym badges, or two badges, because it wasn't necessarily just gym badges, there were the Titans and there was the uh, Team Star badges as well. I did two badges per stream, I'm just trying to wonder with Generations Master Mode, or doing a Master Mode version of that game, if that's going to be fine, if that's going to take longer or not. I guess I can kind of kind of going to be like a pilot anyway. I need to... I need to check what the... order of everything is. How they, how they did it before. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and put these fossils in the box. Level 25 is pretty nice, especially at this point in the game. I always found it curious because in the original black and white, I mean, I guess 25 was still probably the ideal level that you probably wanted for your fossils at that point because you had to beat, you had to beat Berg in order to uh, actually go and get them. So I'm kind of glad that we're not using them because of their abilities. They're not abilities, sorry. Um, natures. Natures aren't the greatest, but eh, it's whatever. It's just not terrible. All right, so we're gonna need our phone for this. So this is probably gonna eat up a decent amount of time. So this will more than likely guarantee that we don't get into the gym today, um, which I will not complain about. So, hey Siri. 
Pick a number between 1 and 649. This is going to be for the Corefish. This is number 298. So the Corefish was level 23. I'm 298. I know that's Gen 3. Something tells me that's like Wismer or something like that. If I get that right, I'm going to be surprised. 300. I got to guess where 300 is. It's Wismer's 293. So what is 298? Azura. Okay, that's that's not ideal. Huge power Azumarill is a thing in this game, but Azumarill is a friendship evolution, and I don't know about that. I might have to max out its friendship. Might have to max out its friendship. Hey Siri, pick a number between 1 and 649. 633, that's very, very late. 633. Mandibuzz is 630. Dragon City Ed, fuck off. Dino. Again, that's not... It's a pseudo. Should I complain about a pseudo? No. Am I going to be able to use this pseudo for a while? No. Alright, hey Siri. Pick a number between 1 and 649. 223. I don't think that's... I don't think that sounds promising. That's Gen 2. 223. It's not Don Fan. 223. Dragon City, fuck off. I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to play a video game here. Not watch your ad for a, another video game. Is it Remoraid? 223, right? Okay, Remoraid. That's not bad. What level does it evolve at? It evolves at 25. Rem -o -raid. Okay, I mean, nothing that can help with the gym after this one, but no, nothing that's utterly terrible. I mean, it could have been a hell of a lot worse. Really. It really, really could have. Um, it just sucks because, like, Mons, like, Dino, Larvitar, they evolved just so, so late, so... I mean, I think Drayano changed the evolution level of the Hydreigon in this game. I want to say he did. Or at least the level to evolve him in the Zawilus. Because Dino to Zawilus is 50. And I'm telling you this right now, I'm not using a Dino in a game like this. Willingly. Well, if it was like a starter or something like that, yeah, I would do it, but if I'm using that, I'm using either Eviolite Zawilus or I'm using Hydreigon, and even then I would not use Eviolite Zawilus, so it would only be Hydreigon. Using Hydreigon in the generation that he came from, the last generation where Fairy-type wasn't a thing, come on, that just sounds too, too good, too good of a choice to make. Too good of a choice to make. Alright. This woman just ran out in front of my bike. That is a bold thing to do. Running out in front of a kid on a bike. Here. That's the middle one, right? 
one he wants us to go to is the middle one. I think it is. Yes. I just love that they are like... Yeah, I'm gonna go steal a Pokemon and it's like, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go steal from the exact same spot that I stole at before because I did it once and I can do it again. Yeah. Sense. They won't find me. I don't have a ridiculously dressed outfit that makes it look plainly obvious that I'm working for a criminal enterprise. Not at all. If you think I'm lying, why don't we have a little battle to find out? Yeah, we'll leave. We'll leave the tough looking guy for the two of you and I'll go mano a mano on the kid. Dude, they just need to read up on the plot of how Pokemon games work. Or how the Pokemon universe works, rather. And they'll be like, don't mess with those kids. Kids are actually the real threat, not the, not the adults that have mastered for 40 plus years, it's 10 year olds. They are the ones that are actually scary. I'm, I'm just super duper glad. And we have something to take out, down Shedinja. Which is something that you never really thought you needed to worry about, but you would be surprised. You would be surprised. Did they really think I was going to go all the way over here to... Get into a deal where they stole Pokemon from one of my friends. And I was just going to be like, alright, I beat the people at the front door. Whatever. A yaki berry. And that's perfect. Let's see what this item is. Smoke ball. Isn't that ironic? Alright, so we did hit the 30 minute mark, roughly 30 minute mark on the video. The timer, I don't know why it didn't reset. Because, yeah, we're at the 28, 29 minute marker right now. But that's nice because this video will still be 30 minutes. It'll just be a little bit of a shorter kind of video. 
Um, but we did do our challenge. We did it. You know, knock on wood, we've actually not really failed many challenges in this series so far. And in a way, I think the one we did fail, there wasn't even really much repercussion behind it. Free heart scale. Okay, so how the uh, heart scale works is, um, I don't know where the movie learner is in this game. Can't remember. I want to say it's in Miss Charlton, but I could be wrong about that. But how the free heart scale works is that you are able to relearn a move um, that your Pokemon could learn that could be an egg move or just like a relearn move in general. Um, it could be used on anybody on your team. So we got ourselves a free heart scale, which is actually pretty nice to get um, right now. So I'm actually super duper ha happy with that. Um, if you guys are... Um, enjoyed this episode make sure you hit that like button down below because it's greatly appreciated um next episode is going to be the gym battle um so i'm thinking our um get out of jail is probably going to be using this next episode so you keep your eyes peeled for that subscribe and click the bell icon if you don't want to miss on that and i'll see you guys later peace out everybody